You turn no way you try. You turn no way you try. You turn no way you try. Hello and welcome to my Olympic roundup, which is an overview of what's happened in the past couple of days in the Olympics. Starting from day one, we had uh, we have a uh, victory in the men's road race. Unluckily for GB, Mark Cavendish didn't win that or even get in the medals. Um, gold medal went to Kazakhstan, Alexander Vinukurov, sorry for the pronunciation. Silver medal went to Colombia, Rogiberto Uran Uran, Uran Uran, that's what it sounds like. Um, and bronze medal went to Norway of Alexander Kristoff. Uh, that day also saw Hannah Miley taking part in the uh, women's 400 individual medley. She did qualify first place for her in her in her heats, I believe. Yeah, she did win her heats to get to the final, but um, unfortunately, uh, there was an outstanding performance from China's Shi Wan Yi uh, to take the gold medal, breaking a world record, and uh, silver medal went to the Team USA and bronze went to China as well. And Hannah Miley finishing sixth in that, and uh, that was a probably the main events of day one. Day two it started to pick up a lot more uh, so I'm just going to quickly breeze through wh who won what. Uh, there was artistic gymnastics, the men's team, we had gold medal going to China, silver medal going to Japan and bronze going to Great Britain. Obviously there was that controversy there between the Great Britain winning silver at the time but then appealing uh, Japan teams appealed and we lost the silver medal unfortunately. Diving, we had men's synchronized 10, ten meter platform with Tom Daly and Pete Waterfield but uh, unfortunately we came fourth position there really close but one one dive with a score of 71.5 two really messed us up badly so you had China taking gold, Mexico with silver with some really really like risky dives there pulled it off and got the silver and Team USA with the bronze. You had the fencing, women's individual epee, gold medal going to Ukraine, Jana Shimiyinka, silver medal going to Britannia Heidemann of Germany, and bronze medal going to China, Yiwan Shin, Sun. Uh, in the judo, you had the men's 70, 73 kilogram class, gold going to Russia, Mansur Izev, uh, silver going to Riki Nakaya of Japan, and joint bronze medal going to the French Hugo Legrand, and also to Niam Ocha Sanjigar, I think of Mongolia, that's the country. Judo women's 57 k kilogram class, we had a gold going to Japan of Kaori Matsumoto, uh, silver going to Corina. Capriuri of Romania, I think that is. Sorry if I get these countries wrong. Uh, bronze medal going, joint bronze again, going to Automine Pavia of France and Martin Mal Malloy of U Team USA. And then the swimming, men's 200 meter freestyle. This was a really good race. I watched this one um, live. Yannick Angel absolutely destroying the field there, winning by at least with clean water in behind him, uh, getting the gold medal there. Taiwan Park of South Korea taking silver and Yang Sung of China taking the bronze. In there was some more swimming in the aquatic centre going on. A lot of a lot of swimming and uh, water sports going on there today yesterday. You had the men's backstroke. Uh, I think we had who did we have in this? We had Liam Tancock, I think. Yeah, Liam Tancock in this event, but uh, gold medal went to Matthew Greaves of the USA, big six foot eight giant there. Uh, Team USA winning silver as well with Nick Toman and Ryosuke Ire of Japan coming in third. Britain came fifth in that one, and uh, the women's 100 meter backstroke. We had another. We had another Briton in here. I think that was. Was it Hannah Miley again? I'm not sure. But we did come fifth in that again. I think it was Hannah Miley in that race. But gold medal was 17-year-old Missy Franklin of the USA. Silver favorite to win this event, but didn't. Emily Seaborn of Australia and the bronze medal going to Aya Terry Terry Waka. 
Terakawa of Japan and uh, also we had the women's 100 meter breaststroke this was uh, an outstanding performance here the gold medal from Ruta Melinete of Lithuania only 15 years of age and uh, picking up the gold medal winning all of her heats and knocked off almost three seconds of her personal best as she progressed through the round swimming slower in the final than she actually did in the semis um, which is quite impressive as well silver going to Rebecca Sony of USA and bronze going to Satomi Suzuki of Japan we also had the weightlifting men 62 kilograms gold going to North Korea uh, the, the Democratic Republic of Korea Ungong Kim winning the gold silver going to Feguero Mosquera of Colombia and bronze going to Eko Yulni of Indonesia I think that country is and uh, the weightlifting women's 58 kilograms which did see another Briton Zoe Smith who did break the British wet record uh, but did and, and but unfortunately she was in a class B group which made it harder for her to actually win a medal and uh, finishing 12th but still a really good performance considering she broke the British record but gold went to China Yang Ying Li silver went to Prim Sari Seri Kawa of Thailand and bronze going to Laidunya Kalina of Ukraine so currently if we look at the medals table I may bring one up right now we have first place China this is including day three's events which I'll cover tomorrow because not all of them are finished at the moment I don't think but we have ranked first China with 23 medals consisting of how many golds? Uh, 13 gold, 6 silvers, 4 bronze, USA joint 23 but with less golds, 9 golds, 8 silvers and 6 bronzes. Third place you have France doing quite well, 11 medals in total, 4 gold, 3 silver, 4 bronze and Britain you know we need to pick it up a bit, 4 medals in total, 2 silver, 2 bronze and uh, still yet some countries to hit the medals table waiting for the track and field my my hometown Jamaica hopefully we'll get up there get a few win a couple golds bolt win us three yeah we we'll win quite a few medals there but um also hopefully Britain can start to pick up the track uh, the medals as well in the equestrian and the rowing and maybe in the diving individual with Tom J Daly there but I shall see you guys tomorrow with another Olympic roundup with another in probably more bit more in depth than today because I did go through three two days of action so even though one was a bit brief but still I shall see you all tomorrow <laughs> Ya <laughs>